Hello, everybody. It's Zero. We thought I'd do a Blitz video today. Um, it's been kind of a rough few weeks here for me. I've been uh, got a chest cold there at the end of September, and it wasn't bad enough to miss any work or anything, but you know how it is when you're on cold medication. Well, it looks like I landed weight here, so hopefully we'll get things back in order and start to feel a little bit more normal. I'm going to go with a C3 response to the Sicilian. My brain's still a little foggy, so I'm not expecting to do too good today, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, might as well pin that down. Uh, we'll just retreat the bishop here. I don't want to give him a, a stronger center than he needs to have. Um, what do I want to do here? I guess I could just lock things up. I don't know if that's the best decision in the world, but... We'll go with it. Let's see where he puts his knight. Okay, I'm going to trade that away. Um, I think I'll just castle and put my rook here on e1. I don't think my position's too bad. I got the light square bishop that I can uh, bring down here to uh, c2 or even tuck into a2, keeping pointing towards this position. Obviously, my opponent's going to castle on the king side. He's, he's way too open on the queen side. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. I want to develop, but I guess I could do that. <laughs> my brain's feeling really foggy right now, so. I have a feeling I'm going to miss something very obvious that's going to be just crushing. I should probably bring my rook out too. Uh, if I have to, if he plays h6, I'll just trade. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pull my queen back, push my f-pawn up to f3, strengthen that out a little bit. And then uh, develop this knight. And I think I'm going to uh, tuck my bishop here onto uh, a2. Let's see if I can trade this rook off. Let's try to keep things solid. Get control of the c file if I can. Attack his bishop. Oh, that wasn't good. Um, there's the obvious thing, right? Let's see here. Attack this pawn. I can't get those rooks off. Um, let's see. I want to get this bishop into a better position now. My opponent's playing pretty good. I think I had a, a slight advantage in the uh, coming out of the opening there. I think I've just kind of buffed it all away. I don't really have any substantial threats going on here either. In fact, I don't know. Maybe if he doesn't take the knight, I can place the knight here onto f5. And uh, hope for the best. I gotta move my king off first, though. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> now I can place my queen on two, uh, uh, g2, and then I'd be threatening taking with check and, uh, or sorry, uh, yeah, g4, taking with check, winning the queen. See what happens. I'll take that. Threatening mate now, so he's got to worry about that. He said something, but I don't want to open up the chat window <laughs> because it'll mess up my screen recording. Oh, he resigned. Well, we got lucky there, eh? A little tactic in the end. Pulled it off. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back to the beginning. I've been liking the C3 response to the Sicilian. Um, there's a lot of things that can happen in there. Like, for example, I'm just going to flip back here and, and flip to edit mode. Um, like after c3, sometimes you'll see knight up to uh, f6, and from here you just kick that knight over, and it ends up looking something like this. So you get all your center pawns, and um, they're still intact. And you know, I like the play that follows um, compared to some of the other responses to the Sicilian. Uh, but nonetheless, <clears throat> he just played uh, standard d6 there. Still got my center pawns. I think uh, coming into, uh, I think in this position I was okay. Like, I mean, I don't know, I don't want to get into the analysis software right now, but I felt like, you know, I've got a nice grasp of the center. Uh, if you guys want to plug that into your uh, engines and take a look, I don't know. It felt all right. Like, I mean, I didn't feel like I was getting into any trouble. I thought my plan here was good to solidify the pawns. And uh, but then I just uh, totally missed that dark square bishop here. Uh, coming in, forking the rook and the pawn. So I tuck, he tuck, and then I don't know if there was much I could do here to protect that. Um, probably there was something. Maybe I could have played something like, uh, I don't know, it's tough to say. Maybe queen to e3. Maybe brings his rook down, maybe. And then what do I do? It's tough to say, but I lost the pawn there. And then uh, here I'm just in a losing position. I think I got very fortunate with this tactic here that he missed that. Check, move off, push the pawn, line up that queen. And I'm not too sure why he pushed his pawn up there. Um, oh, I guess to give his queen access to prevent the mate, but boom. Goodbye, queen. I think he could have even still continued to fight on from this position. Um, I, I was just going to quickly analyze, uh, or sorry, analyze it here. It's going to mess up my viewer, but we'll take a look. Let's see. No, it was pretty crushing. All right. Um, okay, so let's play another one here. And uh, I apologize in advance if the uh, quality of the commentary is down here. Like I said, it's been a rough number of weeks here. So brain's a little foggy. Um but I'm um, starting to feel a little bit more like myself, so that's good. Um, King's Pawn opening, I guess I'll go with the Alakine's defense. I'll see if he goes for the four pawn attack here. Nope, I'll just take that. Uh, do I want a Fianchetto in this position? I'm not exactly sure. Um... I'll, I'll take the opportunity to pin that knight for the short term. There might be a way I can get a number of attackers here on this pawn on e5 too. Um, I don't want to place my king there just yet. I'm going to trade that off because this pawn is blocking the bishop's scope. Um, but now i got to watch out for... Uh, his rook is going to become pretty active. So I'm thinking knight to d7, and then this knight up to c6. Getting two attackers on this uh, pawn here. Um, I don't have much of a choice here, so... 
we'll do that. Put my knight here, put my other knight on c6 like I was talking about. I'll be attacking the bishop at the same time. King is in the middle of the board, but I, I don't know. He's, he's not doing too bad yet. I can also fianchetto if I have to. So I'll be able to move this knight up here. Probably place his bishop back onto c3 to give this pawn another defender. Um, now, can I? I think I can pretty much take that pawn. I don't see why not. And then I can just. Uh, Got to watch out for checks, though, right? Um, I just need a way to get my king into a safer position. Now I think I'll take with the uh, A pawn here, and then I can push my other pawn up to uh, C5. Take away the scope of the dark square bishop there, sitting on A3. I don't like that pointing down towards my king like that. Can also win a pawn here on g2 if he's not careful. Uh, I don't know what that was for. Um, should I move that now or should I do my king first? I think I'll worry about my king first. Oh, I totally dropped my knight. <laughs> That's not good. That is not good. Well, <clears throat> let's get in some king safety going here. And take the scope of that bishop away now. And uh, I'll just take that pawn. I can also put my bishop now on to, uh, uh, can I go there? Yeah, sure. Actually, I think in this position here I can, uh, I don't know, what do I want to do here? Maybe bring my bishop back to d5. I'm down material by about two pawns, so it's not resignable yet, but we'll see how it goes. Um, Let's see if I can trick him here. Hmm. Might be in trouble. <laughs> uh, check. All right, it's going to go like this. What's he going to do now? He's obviously got a discovered check. Uh, he's just going to take the pawn, I guess. That probably wasn't a good move. I'll probably check here. 
trade off the bishops, then I'm in trouble. All right. Uh, which pawn do I want to let go of? I guess I'll let go of the e pawn. See if I can sneak away this bishop somehow. Uh, time, a little bit ahead of time, but it's not a one minute blitz game, so. It is alright. Let's see what he does here. What the heck did I do that for? Are we going to get lucky here again? <laughs> uh, okay. Keep off the dark squares. Oh! Not good. Well, I'll just resign in this position. I wonder if there's a quick way I can do that. I'll just do it this way. Okay, so that was a bad game. So, fogginess coming to bear. Uh, let's see here. This I'm okay with. I think here... It, maybe I should have just taken the queen on, on d1. Made him have the problem. I totally missed that. Because now I've got to worry all about my king. I think my plan at this point was okay. And then, of course, dropping my knight there. That's not good. That was the beginning of the total end. And she just fell apart from there. All right. Well, that's not too bad. Let's play another one, though. Um, where's my seek button? There we go. Okay, I've got the white pieces this time. Uh, I got some uh, ideas coming up for some videos. So um, I was doing the Kasparov uh, Karpov um, series. I want to continue on that, but I'm not going to do them all in a row because there's a lot of games, and um, the game quality, you know, it's 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 nice to go over them, um, but it's uh, it was all blitz games. So like I mean, it wasn't like uh, you know there was any groundbreaking stuff in there. But I'm definitely planning on going over them. But I'll probably stagger them out. I don't like to do a whole bunch of stuff at the same time of the same thing. Um, I don't know if it's just my personality, but I like to uh, spread things out a little bit. And uh, I think I'm going to put my bishop here. And he'll probably play a6. And I'm just going to once again give my bishop uh, options here. Probably not the best place for the bishop, but I can come down quick for a, a queenside push too, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, let's see, so he's got two attackers, and I better defend that pawn a little bit. I wonder if there's a quicker way to do that, though. I'll try that. Now watch, I'm just going to drop my queen totally. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. Now, what can I do here? Um, I'm not, I'm not going to instinctively react to his move for a second because I've got a queen and knight here on the, on the, close to his castle position. He's going to have a hard time getting defenders back here. So, what can I do to take advantage of that? Um, why not rook up here? Knight here. Should I do the knight now? I'd like to get it rid of his knight, though, right? But I'm going to have to move my rook, so... Hmm, that's sketchy. I could strip the defender off of this knight, though. I'll just do that. Of 
takes my bishop. I take his knight. He'll push the pawn attacking my rook. I'll place my um, queen here, or sorry, knight here, threatening mate. He didn't catch that uh, little tactic there of the defender. Take away the defender, take the piece. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. Um, well, I think in this case here, um, I need to do something quick, don't I? Uh, let's see. There's no really, there's nowhere really safe to move the rook and keep it on this file. I really want to launch this attack though, but I guess we'll do that. I still got this bishop here causing problems. Well, in this case, I'm just going to pull the bishop back. Man, if I blow this, I'm going to be so upset. It looks like I might though. Takes, takes. Check. Let's try that. Check. Takes a bishop. Get the other knight back. <clears throat> Oh, though I gotta be careful of back row mates. And check here. It takes. Yeah, I can't do that. Um, let's see. <clears throat> well, let's check here a big problem. We're going to find out. Give him lots to think about anyway, because I'm going to have a discover check. He's got to be careful because it's a um, check with the queen. King would only be able to go to g8 and then it would be mate. So yeah, I think the only way he's going to be able to defend it is how is he going to defend that? Push the pawn up, maybe. I can still no. That doesn't do anything. Push this pawn up. Check. King goes here. No, it's, I think it's pretty much over. Ah, uh, yeah, it's over. Check mate. Oh, I'm such an idiot. See what I mean? I'm telling you. <laughs> I told you I'm foggy today. Oh, that's just massively bad. Oh, wow. What was I thinking there? That was not good. <laughs> yeah, this is over. Nothing I can do, really. Um, let's see. I don't even think there's a way that I'm going to be able to salvage this. 
Uh, has he got a check coming up? He does. So I gotta get my rook off this. Oh man, this is just bad. I'm just gonna resign this game. I can't believe I threw that one away. Let's just go here. So in this position here, he found a good move. Um, I could I'm pretty sure I probably could have maintained the position with a, a better move. Let's check this out. Let's see what Ribka thinks about it. Oh, Ripka likes black in this position. That's interesting. I wonder why. So the best move here is to take... Queen takes d8. Yeah, f rook takes the queen. And then what does white do? White's got to prevent the back row mate. So knight to d2... King X H seven. Yeah, and then we're just down two pawns of material. So he found the move and that's that's pretty good. Um I thought it was all over there and then I totally wasn't I was so thinking that it was done. 